everyone, it's Taylor here today, and I'd like to share with you how I created this card. You can see that the image on the inside is revealed through that circle opening. We'll be using the Sweet and Spooky stamp set, along with the Boo to You sentiment from the hand-lettered Halloween set. For dies, I have the Gatefold Reveal 2 that features that circle and the flags that will help to reveal your image. Then we have the Spiderweb cutting plate and the Spiders and Spiderweb die set. I'll also be using a couple of adhesives. I have 1 8 inch sticky tape and then I have Stick It. I'll be starting with a sugar cube card base cut at 5.5 by 8.5. You can see that solid circle on the score buddy. I'm going to use the line that corresponds with that circle to score my cardstock and then flip it and score again. That creates the perfect gatefold for an A2 card base. Now I'm going to set that aside and do this part with the stick it next. I have a piece of Oreo cardstock and I'm just going to apply that cardstock to the stick it. You can see here I've pulled the backing off of one edge and I'm pressing that down onto the adhesive, pulling up another edge and pressing the rest of the cardstock down. Now when I place that back over the top, I want to make sure that that adhesive sticks really nicely so I'm going to burnish it with my hand and you can see I'm left with that sticker paper on the back of my cardstock. Now we'll do the die cutting. I'm putting the die on top of my cardstock, cutting it out, and you can see that that sticker paper that we adhered, the stick it, is on the back creating a sticker for me. I can just peel that up with my die pick and press it down onto my cardstock just like I would a sticker. I don't have to deal with messy glues on those intricate die cuts. Stick it is a wonderful thing. Now I'll be using my paper trimmer to cut that piece exactly in half at two inches. That's going to give me the exact pieces that I need to adhere to the flaps of my gatefold. I'm just going to stick those down with a little adhesive, making sure that they match up perfectly in the center. By holding the card closed, you can see exactly where that second piece needs to go to match up just perfectly. Now we're going to do the inside of our project next. I have the Gatefold Reveal 2 die here, and we'll be using that center portion, cutting that out of candy corn cardstock. Now you can place this circle anywhere you want it. You can center it, you can put it towards the bottom. I have put mine towards the top and adhered those two pieces together. Next, we'll be cutting two of these flags. This is the stitched flag that comes in the set, and it also has a score line cut into it. You need two of those for each Gatefold card. Now we can put that element together on the inside. Before I do that, I want to stamp my image right onto the back of that card base. I'm using a little bit of pencil just to mark where my circle is going to be placed so that I can place those ghosts right where I want them fairly easily. I'm going to be using Oreo cardstock and I want the ghosts to look as if they're floating up from the bottom. So I'm going to position those down towards the bottom line that I marked with my pencil and you can see just erasing those lines once you're finished and those ghosts show up just perfectly in the center. I'll be using colored pencils to color in the eyes and the mouths of the ghosts. I chose colored pencils because they will not bleed through the back of my card base. Once that's finished, we're ready to put this element down onto the center of the card base. I've placed one of the flags in there just to make sure I don't put my foam tape too close to the flags, otherwise they will not have enough space to move. After adding the foam adhesive, I can center that right in the back of the card base, and we are ready to work with the flags. You can see that score line that comes as part of the die. I'm just going to fold and crease those with my bone folder to give them a nice crease, and then I will be using 1 8 inch sticky tape to adhere to each of those flaps that we just folded. Now the flaps are going to be arranged behind the opening there so that you can see exactly where they're going to be centered and butt up against that flap on the left side. You want the score line of the flap to line up just perfectly with your flag so that when you close it, it's going to pick up the adhesive and it's going to be right in exactly the spot that you want. You're going to finish on the right side doing the same, making sure those V's in the center meet up and you can see when you open your card, it will reveal that ghost image that you stamped. I waited to the end to add this boo sentiment on the inside just to make sure I had enough space. And now I'll be creating the vellum 
piece that will hold my card together. This is sort of like a belly band that I'm just made from a piece of cut vellum. I'm adding a little bit of 1 8 inch sticky tape and adhering that around the card just to hold it close when I mail it. Next I'm going to show you how I create the sentiment. I start by creating a template from the die cut circle that I want to use. By picking that up and stamping it down on the grid paper of my MISTI, I can use that die cut template to align just perfectly over the top of my stamped sentiment so that when I place my die cut circle back into the center, I know that it's going to be perfectly centered. I can stamp it multiple times if I want that really nice crisp black. We're going to adhere that to the front of the vellum piece and then I'm also going to be adding a few spiders. I don't typically put spiders in my hand unless they are of the paper kind. They are totally fine with me for cards, but otherwise I am not a fan of spiders. So here you can see that vellum belly band just pulls off and when you open the flaps of the card, your image is revealed. There are so many different ways you can do this, so I hope you will experiment. You can see this beautiful card that Noriko Fairchild made. She used the Boo To You sentiment on the inside of the reveal. And Melody Rupel made this gorgeous card, also featuring our Flip The Web stamp, which is really cute. I hope you're feeling inspired to give the Gatefold reveal a try. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.